Hey, what's up, everybody? I'm Dr. Bob, the mascot of Cold Fusion. In today's video, we will take a look at some of my favorite Cold Fusion devices. Number 1. The Mizuno Cells These devices are popular among amateur researchers and universities. The cells are commonly referred to as Mayo Fusion because humans making them often utilize a mayonnaise jar as the containment vessel. While it can be hard to measure excess heat with the basic Mizuno cell, looking for transmutations is not. The parts are easily accessible and cheap, but be careful. Handled the wrong way, these toys can be quite dangerous to play with. Number 2. Dennis Craven's Brass Spheres These balls were demonstrated during a tech event in Austin, Texas, 2013, together with engineers from National Instruments, one of the best measuring companies in the world. The demonstration was fairly simple. Two brass balls rested in a bath of aluminum pebbles heated to 80 degrees Celsius. The ball that contained the active cold fusion powder maintained a higher temperature throughout the whole event. Since then, no other team in cold fusion has come even remotely close to showing off anything nearly as sophisticated. Many people ask me for the recipe, so here it is. The active powder consists of 10 nanometer big grains of palladium and gold powder within chunks of carbon and a few sprinkles of magnesium and hydrogen storage powder. The active spheres also contain deuterium gas and operates under two bars of pressure. Number 3. The E-Cat. Boring. Number 4. The Solani Cell. Duplicated in several laboratories all over the world, the Solani cell was the first generation gas-loaded devices to go mainstream. These devices are quite easy to build and use hydrogen gas and nickel wires as fuel. If you ask nicely, Solani might send you some active wires. Although the Solani cells typically operate at very low energy and efficiency, the idea is to have them scaled up. Number 5. Dog Bones Dog bone technology went viral last year after an international group of scientists had tested a dog bone during 32 days in a laboratory in Switzerland, and the test report leaked out on the internet. Using only one gram of fuel, the dog bone produced as much clean energy as if it had burned 50 gallons of dirty gasoline, just as in the sci-fi movie Chain Reaction from 1996 featuring Keanu Reeves, harmonics play an important role in dog bone experiments. However, Instead of using musical instruments like Keanu Reeves did, scientists are using a device called a thyristor. Being cheap to produce and efficient enough for pretty much any commercial applications, the dog bone has great potential. The claims of excess heat production in these devices is now being researched all over the world. Remember, the results could be positive, but they also could be negative. Number 6. Brilluan Technologies Brilluan Energy has worked with cold fusion for 10 years and have two systems under development, one low-temperature wet reactor and one high-temperature gas reactor. According to Stanford Research Institute, who has studied many cold fusion devices, Brilluan have a great chance to make it to the market soon with a bit of tweaking here and there. The most powerful Brilluan technology relies on something called Q-pulses. They are high-power electromagnetic pulses that functions as an on-off mechanism for the reaction. The ability to turn the reactions on and off at will is an important advantage of Brilluan's LENR technology over others. So how does it work? The Q-pulse allows some of the hydrogen atoms to turn into neutrons. The tiny difference in weight between a hydrogen atom and a neutron is provided by the effects of the Q-pulse. Brilluan is then able to add the newly formed neutrons to other hydrogen atoms. Each neutron added to a hydrogen atom releases some binding energy according to E equals mc squared. When a hydrogen atom has accumulated three neutrons, it becomes unstable and decays to form helium-4, and this low-energy nuclear reaction generates even more energy. Number 7. The Golden Tea Kettle The Golden Tea Kettle has never been demonstrated publicly yet. This one-of-a-kind, gold-infused prototype was specifically designed to boil water for making tea. That's a statement. If you could build a cold fusion reactor, how would it look? And what would it do? Please answer with a comment below. That's all for this time. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. See you soon. Bye-bye.